Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about a great website to help with mixed attainment mathematics learning environments. Basically, I've been asked this question so many times, how do we actually cater to students of various backgrounds, various confidence levels? And so if you're interested in having a look with me at this great website that has lots of ideas and resources and suggestions, then please keep on watching. This website, let me just move myself out of the way, is called Mixed Attainment Maths, and it's developed by this lovely lady called Helen. I tried to find out some more information about her, but she's provided so many wonderful resources resources. And let me just go through some of the things that I think are really important to share. So I love her beliefs and her aims here. Beliefs. Mixed attainment classrooms are a demonstration of social justice and enable children to learn without limits. And another belief is about labeling children and setting them according to some notion of fixed ability places limits on learning. So mixed attainment is really about being very inclusive and putting students of varying backgrounds, confidence levels in the same classroom and not labeling them in different streams, tracks or sets. And then here are some of the methods that she talks about, which I think are really useful. So we will communicate the beliefs and pursue the aims by holding regular conferences and having dialogue with our students, collaborating with any organization or individual that supports mixed attainment teaching in mathematics classroom, and who offers that support without cost or without the intention of making a profit. So it's lovely that this website has been created to enable teachers of mixed attainment maths classes to share resources and ideas. Now you'll see that she's presented at various conferences and that she's also shared a lot of her workshop presentations. And if you scroll down a little bit more, she has these on PowerPoint slides, becoming a mathematician. It's really thinking for yourself, asking questions, making conjectures, being organized and systematic, writing down what you notice, being sure, testing and explaining your ideas. And then differentiation. It does not happen at some spurious moment of three different levels. It happens at as many levels of cognition and depth of sense making as there are students in a class. And that's Mike Ollerton, who is a wonderful proponent, a pioneer in, I would say, mixed attainment mathematics learning. On every one of her resources, she always says, in this class, we all have different starting points. And so that really pertains to the idea of high ceiling, low threshold, that everyone can have different starting points. We can all learn from each other and that the learning mathematics is a collaborative process. We can all make progress wherever we are in our learning journey. We can all learn and grow. Uh, we will value our mistakes because we can learn from them. We will choose tasks that challenge us because this is how we develop our skills and understanding. And we will keep trying when we are finding a task difficult because this is how we actually make progress. So really encouraging that idea of productive struggle. So let's have a look a little bit about some of the resources because I think it's always about the lessons. So if I click on to mix lessons, in the Mixed Attainment Maths Lessons tab, there's clear instructions on how to use these resources. It's not supposed to be a prescriptive PowerPoint that you just follow. You use the different suggestions and the different prompts and scaffolding according to the students that are in front of you. So if I scroll down, you can see there's lots of lessons that you can open in Google Slides and Microsoft PowerPoint. And then there's this lovely curated list. And so many of these are my go-to websites for mathematics. Of course, Andrew Blair's inquirymaths.org is phenomenal. Enrich, you've got the Shell organization that I've talked about. Mike Ollerton, who is a wonderful educator in the field of inquiry-based mathematics. Uh, Open Middle is another one. So there's a whole list here of different other websites too. But if you scroll up, we've got lots of suggestions for year seven, year eight lessons and year nine lessons that are in development and coming soon. 
So I wanted to share this great website with you that really encourages teachers to share ideas about facilitating mixed attainment maths learning. And that means that tasks are normally really high ceiling low threshold and that you're providing an inclusive environment that values each and every individual learner, no matter how neurodiverse they are that everyone can have different starting points and different exit points, but everybody is capable of making progress, growing and learning in mathematics. So thank you so much for joining me this week. And if you use any of these websites or you've come across this website before, please feel free to put it in the comment section below. I hope to see you next time. Bye.